Joseph Howe's life under Grant McCann? Um, enjoying it. Enjoying it a lot. Very, very good. Very, very good. I think I'm learning a lot with the experience that he's brought in managing uh, and the champ in top in the League One. It's very good for me as a young player that's still wanting to learn, still wanting to grow. Going in every single day, wanting to be a sponge almost. I remember saying that when I first came in and we're looking two, three years on, I'm still saying the same thing because that's just how I am. Just want to learn as much as possible and having a manager, head coach with that much experience coming in, it's just, it's delightful for me, honestly. Do players feel like the, the levels of coaches, because Grant, as you say, he's played in the championship, has been successful there as well? I think you definitely see it in his approach to games, him and his coaching staff, how they approach games. It's not the same thing. It's not one size one size fits all. There's a almost a tailor made approach to each game that we go into. So you can see there where they're very aware of different teams, how they might set up and they're very aware of how they can combat that and go against it. And it's very good for young players and even the senior players because it just gives you different ideas on how to approach a game and how you can best get the the better of your opponent. Yeah. Cliff, does he do work specifically with the defenders being a former defender himself? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. There's a lot of communicating, a lot of just talking and it's 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 in the details, the fine details and maybe if you need to get to a ball, get to it and make a decision earlier than trying to labour on it. And I think that's the the plus side where you've got Cliff that's, that was once a defender, a very good defender in, in his time as well. And it's good for me because I can learn from him. I can ask him questions. He can pick my brain. I can do the same to him as well. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as a sort of guy you want to get on the wrong side of either. Far from me. it, far <laughs> from it, far from it. You've always got to tread carefully, but Cliff's a great guy to have around the training ground. Yeah, um, it feels like the team has definitely turned a corner in, in the last few weeks as well. Are you feeling that among you know within the camp? For sure. I feel as though the performances have been coming along for a while mm -hmm. and it's just been then getting the results to go with that. And like I say, I think we've come a long way, but we're still not where we want to be yet. And honestly speaking, it might seem as oh, you're just picking at things, but that is the honest truth. We still have a lot to give as a group. We still have a lot of players to come back into the fold. And then you look at that and you just, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot to look forward to. So on a Leichhardt scale out of 10 then, where are you currently and where do you think you can get to? Not an easy question, I appreciate it. Uh, where are we currently? Where can we get to? Uh, what I can tell you is we are where we are currently and where we can get to is, is limitless, I'll be honest. That's probably the best way I can answer that question because we're in a position where we've done a lot of work to get to this stage and we're still going to do a lot of work to get even further ahead. So that's probably the best way for me to answer that. I managed to dodge that one. But um, <laughs> Chan here tomorrow. Yes. Uh, important while you are where you are to beat those teams in and around you just to make sure you don't get sucked back into it, I guess. I believe so. I believe so. I think you can't run away from the fact of the, of the league table and them not being too far from us and us wanting to make sure we can pick up points on the teams that are all around us, we can just get ourselves out of that little that little bunch, shall I say, and it, we're well aware of it. The game is there, it's a game we have to win. It's a game we have to perform in first and foremost, and then hopefully we earn the right for the results to come along with it. Tom Anderson alongside you seems to be playing really well at the minute. Um, I know someone that I've, since I signed for a club, that I've played alongside, so I think just having the familiar face and the both of us understanding one another, shall I say, and, it's also a thing just having to be the best possible professional you can be, regardless of who's playing alongside me and who's playing alongside him, and just make sure you're doing the best you can for the team so we can get the best possible result. But do you, do you see Tom's form, Tom hitting form alongside you? 100%. Tom's a very good player, very, very good player. You can see his qualities. It's, it's, it's evident they are there. His qualities are there for everyone to see and he's a very good player with a lot of experience and like I say for me I'm always just trying to learn as much as possible in training, asking him questions in games, even asking him questions and I think that understanding that we've been able to build over the past two or so years, it's it's been fruitful and I trust and believe will continue to be so. Yeah. Who's been the player you've learned the most of then since you've been at Doncaster? Um, it's been a few. I've always looked towards uh, the senior, the senior pros because they've been in the game the longest. They've seen it, they've done it, and they've probably gone and gone and done things that I myself aspire to do as well. So I'll probably say Tommy Rowe, Tom Anderson, um, John Taylor. 
those are probably good examples of players that I've kind of had from day one that are still here, that I'm still asking questions, still picking the phone up, giving them a call, dropping them a message, just seeing how they're doing on a personal level. And then also when I've got any football questions, just ask them as well. Yeah. Can you cast your mind back to when you come into Doncaster? Came out of Arsenal yeah. not too long previously, so imagine it was a bit of a different sort of setup here than, than over at the Emirates. Definitely a different environment to come into, but I think the first thing that made me feel at home was the boys. It was a very good group, and that instantly just made me feel like, you know what, I can breathe, I can relax. There's no, no one's gonna, no one's almost feeling as though they're too big for the club. Everyone's a team, and that was very positive. That felt good because I instantly felt like I was coming into a family, and that's how it's been since day one. Do you think like the young lads at the Premier League Academy, are they, are they braced for that uh, reality check, you might call it? That's a very good question. Um, I think they're in a very fortunate position. I was in that position where you have everything given to you. And unless you step out of that bubble, shall I say, because it is, you are in a position where everything's there for you. You're, you're training with the best of the best. You've got the best of the best facilities. You're getting all the kit you need. Everything you need is there, the food, you name it, down to tape, anything, it's there for you. And it's, it's very good to come through. It is very good to come through because you get an understanding of this is how good it is at these clubs. But then there's a flip side to it. There's a thing where you've got to go away for yourself, probably go on loan, get a reality check, shall I say, and that then helps you put the both together. Because I feel as though if you can put the both together, then you're setting yourself up to be an even better player. So it's not as if they're at a disadvantage for having that, but it's needing to be aware that there's also this side of the game that you need to be aware of. And you put the both together and you can have some player there. Yeah. How do you think you'd cope if you went back into that environment now? Then? I'd enjoy it. Yeah. I think um, it's what I grew up in. I was there for eight years, so it wouldn't be, it'd almost be second nature, but that's just me. I couldn't probably go into any environment <laughs> and make it second nature, so. Yeah. Uh, final one no clean sheets on the road yet for Doncaster mm. this season. It's got to be something that I think Grant said if you're serious about top seven, you've got to get it sorted. For sure, for sure. It is something we, as a, as a centre back myself, as a defender, I don't want to concede goals. That is, is very evident. I don't want to concede goals. And, it may happen at times, but it's about needing to be resolute and making sure that those chances are hard to come by for the opponents so that we can stick stick through it, be concentrated and make sure that we put in good performances and back up with clean sheets because then that gives us an even better chance to win games. Final, final one. Is it hard then emotionally when it doesn't go to plan on the pitch and you know you might concede early or you know say like Sutton, for example, it was the day was sort of spoiled slightly by that late goal? It's disappointing, but I think that's that's you're a professional for that reason. You need to be able to deal with those emotions in the moment. You can't get too high and too low. You've almost got to be very level and balanced in how you approach things and how you react to stuff. So, how well do you think you've dealt with them like in the past? And um, how far back are we going? Well, you tell me. Like, um, I think as time's gone on, I've just something's out of my control, and it's a thing of you can't really ponder and dwell on things that are out of your control because then you're going to be stressing a lot in this world <laughs> let's be honest so if it's a thing where I had I can control the situation then yeah fair enough I'll put my hands up but if it's out of my control the best thing I can do is try and learn from it and see how I can help those around me as well learn from that situation yeah.